time for sports news on the News at 10 with Baron Tony Uranta. Thank you, Gimba. South America is out of the World Cup. But before we get there, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, is to investigate Mr. Majapinik, Shehu Diku, and three other top board members of the Nigeria Football Federation. This follows a petition of the anti-graft agency received from former NFF technical director James Peters on May the 4th, 2018, who called for a forensic audit to be carried on the financial dealings of the NFF. Mr. Peters alleged that the NFF board members deposited funds outside the official account of the Federation, the central bank, and diverted same monies for fraudulent activities. He also stated in the petition that the private company owned by one of the NFF officials was used to collect over 40% of revenue from the numerous sponsors of the football body. And now to Russia 2018, where France had reached the World Cup semifinals with a deserved 2-0 win over Uruguay and Novgorod. Rafael Verani glanced home Antoine Griezmann's free kick to put the 1998 champions ahead. And Griezmann sealed the win when his 20-yard shot was fumbled into Uruguay's own net by goalkeeper Fernando Muslera. France goalkeeper Hugo Lloris made one of the saves of the tournament for Martin Sakeres' header with a fantastic one-handed diving stop. Meanwhile, England fans can rest easy after Mystic Meerkats, who live in Drayton Manor, theme, predicted the three lines to beat Sweden. England take on the Scandinavians on Saturdays in Samara in the quarterfinals of the competition, and the Meerkats' thing, Gareth Southgate's team, will progress to the last four. And with that, we end on World Sports News from today. I'm Barong Tony Ranta and Gimba will be back with the wrap. A former Thai Navy diver has died while taking part in efforts to rescue 12 boys and their football coach trapped in a flooded cave in Thailand. Officer Saman Gunan lost consciousness on his way out of the Tham Luang cave complex where he had been delivering air tanks. He was brought out by his diver, his partner, but could not be revived. Meanwhile, officials say that the oxygen level in the chamber where the boys have taken refuge has fallen to 15%. The usual level is about 21 The death of former Thai Navy SEAL Saman Gunan tragically shows the complexity of the mission of rescuing the 12 boys and their soccer coach from the cave. The conditions in the cave are tough. Once he placed the oxygen tanks, Petty Officer First Class Samarin passed out on his way back. His body tried to administer first aid, but he did not respond. We brought him to Chamber 3 and gave him more first aid, but he remained unconscious. So we delivered him to the hospital. Rescuers have weighed whether to teach the boys how to dive and swim out, but they've also been trying to find alternative ways of getting them to the surface. But what are the rescue options? According to Thai authorities, they include staying in the cave for months until the dry season or drilling a shaft into the cave from the forest above. The option of diving out is not simple and very dangerous. Some underwater parts of the cave are so narrow the boys would have to swim alone through long passages. It's a daunting prospect, even for expert divers. With heavy monsoon rains predicted next week, time may not be on the rescuer's side. The boys' families, who have waited by the cave for nearly two weeks, say they are grateful for rescue efforts, but are still worried for their sons. And on entertainment news, French President Emmanuel Macron goes behind the cameras in Nollywood. Details of this and more with Ogechuku Oshi. Hello 
and welcome to Entertainment News, and here are your trending entertainment stories. Now, the visit of the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, to the new African shrine was laden with memories of cultural interactions with the different segments of your creative industry. And Hollywood took its own spot on stage with the vibrant visitor, playing a part in a skit that expresses the true character of the Nigerian motion picture industry. The President had fun on the director's chair as he gets a VIP insider's view of Nollywood. After Hila record star Chica 100% has explained that he doesn't expect singer Kiss Daniel to feel his copyright has been infringed on for using this signature tune in the track Yeba in some of his performances. While speaking to Entertainment News on Channel's television, Chica said although he didn't seek the permission from the former G Worldwide singer to use the signature tune, but he sees it more as an endorsement rather than exploitation of his creative work. We didn't go singing his song, you know. We just touched, you know, a little bit of the signature and went back to the song just to get the attention of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you. Now from Nollywood comes this new action comedy payday about the story of an optimistic pursuit of happiness, even when most of the opportunities available appear to be out of reach. Directed by wow. Cheta Chiku, the movie stars Baj Adegbile, comedian Victor Ibiye, reality star Bitola, and many others. But that is on Entertainment News. The News at 10 continues shortly. And the main news again. The Supreme Court today acquitted the Senate President, Dr. Bukala Zaraki, of all charges bordering on false declaration of assets. Reacting to the judgment, Dr. Zaraki said he had been vindicated and his confidence in the judiciary reaffirmed. And that's how it's been on the News at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us, have a splendid weekend. Good night.